Can I just mention one thing, which is an absolute gem. That is brilliant. Danny boy. What have you brought today? New gifts for you. Look Ooh, at them. Cleveland. Yeah. UHX launchers. A bit different, isn't it? That is different. What do you think? First impressions, very yeah. nice. Very nice, getting a nice little combo blend. We yeah. get to test these. Exactly, should we hit some, see what the numbers are inside, go and test outside, yeah. have a little competition, and see what they're all about? Brilliant, let's do it. Hi guys, Coach Lockie here, and welcome to the channel. Up here in the poll, let me know, do you play with a combo set? Also, in the comment section, down below, let us know if you enjoy these videos, reviews, me and Dan taking on the new equipment. If you are enjoying the videos, make sure you give us a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit the big red subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber though, make sure you ring that bell and you'll get all the notifications of when we upload a new video. Let's go and test these clubs. All right, Danny boy, let's hit some. Get yeah, some numbers, cool. shall we? Yeah. So these are changing from seven iron down yeah so we're getting we're getting hollow construction in the sort of higher clubs so it's kind of utility hollow going on here yeah and that starts at seven iron and works its way up if you then move at the eight iron down so eight nines and wedges you can start to see a little bit of cavity so more of a traditional cavity moving in there from that set down for the longer clubs that's helping with things like forgiveness i'm guessing they're saying higher launches yeah higher ball flights possibly all of those things and and probably a different feel yeah right? you know if you think about hollow construction irons over what we've tested over time they're definitely a different feel to what you're getting from maybe a cavity maybe a slightly more tinnier feel but again i've not hit them yet so it'd be interesting to see if they start to get that blend sound as well, well. yeah i think all of that acoustically is going to sound and feel is all going to be together linking together yeah but it'd be good to see if they can try and get that blend because i actually think that's quite an important part when it comes to blending a set of irons like this yeah so eight iron to get us going with Matt. Eight iron to start. Initial looks down at the ball. I've got to say that is that is nice. That is liking it's, it. Yeah, it's it's very. I want to say traditional looking. I know that's a, a, a big word really, but yeah, it's got the whole shape of of kind of a more of a traditional iron, very low into the sort of hosel area here, and then working up into a sort of nice high toe position there. Thicker top line, not overly offensive because it's got quite a bit of roll on it. So that tends to blend into the face quite nicely. Not seeing anything of the back of the club, which again, I love that. I'm not a big fan when, when yeah, companies I'm kind not of- either. What about in the longer clubs? Can you see the back in the longer oh. clubs? So we've got a six iron Not here, really. Not really. The only bit I see is yeah. just in this corner here. So when I'm looking down now, I can just make this bit out here at the back. I don't know if you can see that there. So in the heel side. Just in the heel side. Not seeing anything from the centre kind of up to the toe when I look down at it. Just mainly in that heel side, which it's not, in, it's not intrusive. It's not, it's not overly sort of powering into my, into my eye line, so it's not too bad. Feel and sound. First shot. Yeah. That felt exactly the same as what I got from the eight iron. No difference. No difference at all. I don't know what it sounded like from your end. Uh, I was expecting louder bangs, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> for the bigger cavity, but yeah. like you were saying, it was hard to tell the difference. Mm. It'll be interesting to see when I hit some. Yeah. What the difference is and what sounds I'm hearing. Yeah. Matthew, first impressions? So, I don't want to be mean. Don't be mean. You can be as mean as you like this is the club review. I kind of feel like the look's a little cheap on the back. Okay. Like this, like there's no like, this. Mm. These, um, are, these have only been in your bag, haven't they? So yeah, they've like been they've been in the car and yeah. like the face, I don't know Already what Mark's started. done with them, but well, like <laughs> who knows in his <laughs> boot knows what that But is, yeah, there's a few marks and things, but that's kind of like the finish. But the look of them, like doesn't offend me at all. I really like the eight iron. It's quite a straight top line. I'm not seeing too much curve and I'm liking the sharpness of it. Okay. The six iron, I agree with you. The heel side of the um, club there on the back looking down, you can see it popping out the back, which I'm not too much of a fan of. Yeah. And it is a bit more 
curved on the top line it looks to me whereas okay. the eight iron is very sharp but yeah that's what i think um the finish and the quality i don't think's up there okay but the looks absolutely the lower irons are yeah, suiting my eye yeah longer clubs that heel just popping out the back there not a fan of but with these game improvement if you want to call them that yeah. um you see that a lot in them don't you you do yeah absolutely What's that, the eight iron to get that you going? Eight iron, yeah. yeah, that felt quite powerful to be honest for an eight iron. Sound wise, feel wise, that's not too offensive, is it? It's like, not. That's not as loud and stuff as I thought it would be for a club like this. Yeah. Um, I'm quite liking that. You like Let that? Another one. Got to ask, mm -hmm. how's the offset looking? Quite big. Is it? Yeah, what was it for you? Yeah, you see, I can't really comment on it too much anymore. I you, get you, you get it. I get it. <laughs> so you, you've put that in my hand, have you? Yeah, it's looking quite um, pronounced down there. Is it? And uh, is that is that right the way through from eight iron to six iron, or is it more pronounced when you get into that six iron? No, eight iron, I like the look of the eight iron. Just once you go into this hollow design, yeah. Like it's just, I don't know if it's because I can see the back of it as well that's making that offset look bigger, but yeah. I'm not as much of a fan. Sound wise and feel wise, I totally agree with you. You said that they feel and sound similar. Yeah, they do, yeah. And they totally do, I totally agree. Like they're not feeling, sounding any different between the two, which I quite like. My clubs do it, they all yeah. sound the same and feel the same. Yeah. Um, so why should these even though the design's slightly different sound and feel any different okay not bad i like it yeah nice sound should we look it? at the numbers let's go to the numbers numbers to get us going right i started with the eight iron from the set and I'll, I'll talk to you about the other bits that we've done as well whilst we got through but eight iron to get us going with carry to start we got one five nine average carry i've hit five shots with each which is pretty consistent right the way through 35 yards high and spinning at about six eight now i'm going to compare it to my seven iron and the reason for this is because the eight iron is 34 degrees in loft and my seven iron is 34 degrees in loft so i'm expecting to see a slight difference in possibly the launch yeah but ultimately if you think about the the, the, the actual lofts on them they should be the, the should, same yeah so the, the carry and everything carry and everything should be, should same, be about the it? same yeah so if we go to my carry 162 which is bang on that's yep. that is exactly where i if i've got 162 yardage it's bang on a seven iron for me uh, so we're within three yards carry. Let's just go to launch. So 20.6 with the eight iron compared to 20.4 with my seven iron. There's nothing in it. <laughs> yeah, exactly the There's same, nothing yeah. in it at yeah. all. And then 7,044 spin, which again is exactly what I kind of get with my seven iron. Yeah. If I just take out one from the eight iron, which is at, at six three, which was slightly lower in the in the um, spin from the eight iron in the in the Cleveland, it brings it up to six nine eight one. So within so very 60 revs yeah. oh, of each wow. other. You, they've put an eight iron on the bottom, but it's the same as your seven, and we're seeing exactly the same as what a seven iron should do. Correct. <laughs> I mean ball speed. Off my seven iron is slightly quicker. Yeah, um, we're going 118 on average uh, compared to 116 with the, the Cleveland. So if you looked at took that, then that would be the probably the three yards yeah. that I'm getting difference in those in those in those uh, carry distances. Absolutely. Right. Then we go on to the six iron. The now moving into the hollow construction of the um, Cleveland. And we hit your five iron, haven't we? And we're compare. comparing it to the five. Yeah. Because lofts are the same exactly again. Same, yeah. So if we go to carry distance with the six iron, 185 carry with the Cleveland compared to 182 carry with my uh, five iron in the set. Okay. So again, pretty much the same. same yeah. Again, you would expect the launches to be higher out of the um, the Cleveland, Cleveland compared yeah. to what I uh, what I play, but we're not seeing that. It's 16.4 degrees launch with the Cleveland compared to 16.9 degrees of launch with my Titleist CB iron. So again, half a degree, half a degree but <laughs> very close, isn't it's it? so close again. Yeah. And if we go to spin numbers, this is a slight difference, is 5,000 spin with the Cleveland compared to 5,6, 5,634 with my, with my Titleist 5 iron. So 
slightly different again and then peak height 34 yards high with the cleveland compared to 35 yards high with the Titleist. okay interesting shall we take these out on the course yeah i think we should what i think we should, we should have do a, a game i think we should have a little game mm. Mm. have a little think of what you're gonna beat me i'll at. have a think about we have to walk out today oh it's what it's a bit wet ah oh, winter's here so before we hit some nearest the pins we've decided yeah um well, let's talk about the rest of the tech so we've also got a variable high strength it's a ht 1770m steel face insert map yeah one of them eh yeah one of them <laughs> and do you know what it does it delivers explosive ball speed for increased distance uh, and even on heel and toe impact. So that'll be interesting. Oh, I know okay. that's difficult to test That's that. very difficult to test because um, you have to get everything aligned up with both strikes on different clubs and things. Yeah. But go and test yourself maybe and let us know what you think and if you see any differences. Yeah. We've got V-shaped sole as well, Matt, in these. Improves turf interaction, but for better speed, retention at impact okay so not getting caught up in the ground yeah cutting through they're sort of saying yeah kind of like the grinds and stuff that you get the options with your yeah. wedges but and it's difficult I, I always find that difficult to really test as well i mean with all the testing i've done now i've never really felt a big difference in turf interaction no again that's a very hard one to test isn't it and i think if it's there great and yeah. if it's helping me great but yeah. it's mine you sort of um it's minute help that you're going to get from it yeah and something that you might sort of see over a season not like round to round correct so tour zip grooves as well matt in these now grip few grooves to finish yeah eh? we've kind of well, we see those in the wedges more don't we yeah but now they're saying that they've put them into their irons which i don't think it's never a bad thing no if they're saying that we can get a little bit more zip a little bit more control with spin mm -hmm. um then i always think that's a positive whenever we come to testing yeah however are we seeing that how can we measure that it's very very difficult i mean numbers in the studio are saying that we're not seeing that well, again are we correct um, yeah um but again maybe go and test yourself correct see yeah if that is helping i think you might find a bit of confidence in that i would if i was getting a little bit more spin yeah. from the zippy grooves should we have a nearest a pin yeah let's do that go on then so we're going to start on the nice par three 155 155 ish yeah Good which pin. is about so where we were kind of with this we might be a bit long depending on but it was slightly uphill so it might yeah. be about right can i just mention one thing go on which is an absolute gem yeah i know what you are. ah that is brilliant so w w the thing that matt and i are so excited about is the fact that yes we have an a time but what look at that we've Leave got the, the best loft. till last eh, danny boy love that like why why do like i know why companies don't do it because they want to try and trick everyone but yeah. i love that that is the and best I think thing that, that is great yeah a lot um, more manufacturers should do it um it makes it easier as well for i think um amateurs that are trying to match their yeah. rest of their sets their Lending, wedges yeah combining, and everything. all that yeah um i just love it like i think that's great it's simple like I get why they wouldn't just put 34 on there, yeah, because that can really, really start spinning people, people out. <laughs> yeah. They're getting just getting their heads around that with the wedges, yeah. but like to see eight with the 34, the loft. So we've got the A time with the 34 degrees of loft. Absolutely brilliant. brilliant. Gold, gold star. Well for done, Cleveland. Cleveland. Thank you very much. Well done indeed. Right, nearest the pin then. Eight iron to start. Slightly up the right, but in the green. Slightly skinny. It was a little thin, yeah. Yeah, that's all right. That's on the green. That's beatable, but, but though. It was thin, but in my probably my set, I'd get a bit of a shuddering. Okay, and there wasn't. Not at all, because it's not warm out here today. It's and not. Sort of so you would like, yeah, the old the fingertips. Old fingers, but that they? that was a little low on the face, but still, and it still went forward, didn't it? Yeah, you know, yeah. It still it's a not decent bad job. flight. Birdie put up there. Yeah. All good. All right, get inside that one then, Matthew. Oh, I can't put my glove on. Oh, get that on. All a bit just marvelling at this new pond that you've made yeah, here. Yeah, it's nice. Holding a bit more water now. Yeah. We've had plenty of it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a better strike. That was a nice strike. Yeah, a little bit of divot. Sounded slightly different to what we did heard in the studio in my ears. Did it? Um, definitely can't feel the sole helping yet. I've taken a divot there yeah. and that doesn't feel any different to what I'm used to. What have you done there? I think I've beaten you. 
how, just. Number one, how the how has mine stayed on that slope? I know, yeah. In the summertime, that is going, isn't it, down there? But that's pitch marks, and it's just moved back slightly off this slope. But good yeah, shot, in the yours summer. though. Yeah, they're not bad. Yours for slight skinny ones, all it's good too, bad, isn't it? it? Yeah, but you good deserve pin, that. I, thanks. You deserve that for the first shot out. Let's go nearest a pin with a six now as well. Okay, okay. You'll off probably we go. beat me on that one. <laughs> right, six iron. Should we go? Um, two nearest to pins. I don't actually think the flag's in in this one because it's a little bit wet so it's on a temporary green so we'll hit into the main green. Okay, do you want to go so you the can... middle, see if we can get the middlest? Middle tier, because this is three tiers, oh, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, okay, so you got to get in the Closest middle tier. the middle tier. Closest to the middle tier. And we've got a fairway ball and a rough ball okay. to see what this does out the rough as well. Yeah, okay. Because so... we can all often get the odd flyer with these types well, of clubs, can't you? it's already a few hundred revs lower in spin from the get-go in the studio. Exactly. Oh, that's straight at the middle of the green. Oh, I don't know if that's up. You giving me a duffy yardage? Well, I can only go. I reckon what that's we've got front here. here. Do you think so? That was a good shot. Do you want me to hit my rough ball as well, or do you yeah, want to go? No, yeah, you go. All you right, go. you're in the you're in the zone. Cool, yeah. That's all right too, isn't it? Get up there. Oh, I reckon that's similar yardage. We'll see. One's right edge of the green, one's middle, but don't know if they're long Have enough. we still got the loft on that club as well? So this is right the way through the, the bag, yeah? Of course we have, Danny boy. Oh, well done, Cleveland. Look at Thank that. You. That is so good. Yeah, we're happy with that. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> I might even write the lofts on my clubs <laughs> with a Sharpie. <laughs> Six iron from the fairway for Danny boy. Oh, I'm seeing that offset in this now. Yeah. <laughs> Like slightly that. different it's quite big and out here maybe more than in the studio again just the light oh, I that. oh, oh wow. that's straight out the middle of the green too get on it yeah that's oh. similar to, oh that's gonna be so close <laughs> oh was, my god that flight was everything i want yeah it's a nice little draw and everything yeah that, it wasn't, wasn't it? a pop though it didn't like no, jump up, up in, in the air, air. cool you're giving me a lie here <laughs> <laughs> i, I want to win yeah, I see that. <laughs> go on then out the rough again cutting through that turf that must be that v sole on the bottom oh, up you go again that's <laughs> online just Good what job. i wanted from it came out nicely i caught it a little bit lower in the face so probably wouldn't have got maybe that lower spin by getting it higher on the face yeah, but yeah. yeah still a good flight let's go and see yeah right matthew yeah we go up to the green first let's, let's do green balls these, first yeah. so these are two off the fairway these are two off the fairway and obviously we're trying to get as close to that middle, middle shelf tier. as we can yeah you can see there this is me Yours has bounced on, I reckon. There's no pitch mark, so I'm definitely thinking we've skipped up. Yeah. And um, we could probably see the difference in flights between our two. Yeah. Mine was just that fraction lower. Yours got a little bit of height on it. And mine has pitched on the green and spun off. Quite unfortunate, I would say. Yeah. So again, that's the difference in descent angles coming in. Yeah. You know, mine's kind of coming in lower, skipping up. Yours is coming in higher, landing and then sort of trickling back. It's quite a big it slope. It is a steep here. slope, so don't get deceived by spins yeah. and things like that. That is a mega slope. Correct. You've and, done and well to stay on to it. To hold there <laughs> is quite impressive. Yeah, that yeah. is quite impressive. And the rough balls. So yeah, rough balls. So, well, so this is I've close. won that, haven't I? Well, yeah, okay, yeah. Point. Happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy with that. So yeah. we're one all. <laughs> or well, now we're all flat. <laughs> so here we go with with the rough balls. So again, no flyers. Yeah. This We're is, just coming is... up slightly short, maybe because of the lie. We haven't yeah. been able to get the speed out of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Dan straighter, me further up, but slightly right side of the green. But um, uh, arguably, you're closer to the shelf, but I'm straighter. Half. So how do you want to? Oh, I'll take half. Half's a win for me. I was so saying, yeah, oh, you, 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 you take you, half, yeah. I win. Lovely. Perfect. <laughs> a win for the army. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Sum it up for me then, Dan. Well, we got half. Yeah, so that's positive. That is positive for me, especially. What about the clubs? Yeah, I think all in all, I think this is a solid golf club. Like I, I, I see them selling quite well. I take your point about how they wear and tear, but that would be based on what you know happens over a period of time. So mm -hmm. it'd be hard to sort of test that from yeah. what we get here. 
But visually, fantastic, really, really good. I love the fact that they've got the lofts on the bottom. Yeah. That, to me, that's just the win. That's a, um, a complete win. Well done again, very Cleveland. Good. Yeah. Feel, sounds, all positive as far as I'm concerned with these babies. Not seeing a great deal of difference of what we were getting in the studio to what we were getting out there, mm -hmm. which is, again, I like that. Yeah. Um, it's keep, it keeps the consistency up with what they're getting. It's very difficult to test off-centered strikes, but I hit a couple of thinny ones out there and they were still performed pretty well yeah, yeah. for what I wanted Absolutely. to get from them. So it's, yeah, a solid set of golf clubs for me. And for me, um, the only bit I don't like is the finish on the back. Yeah. The rest, like you say, the lofts are great. Sound, I like the way that they all sound the same, even though the technology and theory is changing throughout the set. Yeah. And performance, can't knock them at all, really. No. They, the loft does what the loft, ex you would expect the loft of the club to do, yeah. like you saw with your um, data and carries and things and yeah. spins, yeah. all very close to what you gain. Yeah. Um, so all in all, really good. Have you tested them? Are you going to test them? Let us know what your comments are below and your thoughts. Um, if you want us to test other swing speeds as well, like yeah. we were talking about out on the course, let us yeah. know in the comment section below. Yeah. And we'll speak to you all soon.